Good morning, everyone. Hope everybody's having a great week. Well, it's the beginning of a new week. Today is Monday. Um, for me, it's Monday. Um, I wanted to come back. I'm sorry for the noise of the of the air vent noise, but it is hot. <laughs> it's so hot. And I'm not feeling good. I'm so kind of I'm battling this cold. Um, it kind of knocked me down like over the whole like the whole weekend. Um, but I wanted to just jump back into this and and do this not only for you guys, but um, be able to get back in tune with with God and the Bible. And I've been so busy trying to um, do things on my own and. I was missing the key ingredient. The key ingredient is this, you know. We need to read this daily just to be, um, stay in tune, stay, stay in check in line with what God wants from us. All right, so let's get started. <coughs> lifestyle read Romans 12 2 do not change yourself to be like the people of this world but be changed with it by a new way of thinking. Today's verse outlines the commitment and steps necessary in developing a godly lifestyle. Paul was urgently warning believers not to be confirmed, conformed to the world. Our susceptibilities to compromise is one of the greatest dangers in the church today. Through ungodly relationships and the impact of media, we are being influenced by people who are not following God's ways. Our society tells us to put self first, take what we want, protect our rights, and promote our own interest above others. In contrast, Jesus said that our Heavenly Father will provide what we truly need. We are to deny self and follow Him, and the humble, not, to be pr not the proud, shall receive honor conformity to the world's ideal will lead us away from god at the same time paul urges us to pursue godly transformation of our minds to set our thoughts on things above and to focus on what is true bright pure and admirable adopting a christian world view will lead to christ-like actions it requires making adjustments in how we view life until our thoughts line up with scripture. We must also protect our minds with biblical truth and surround ourselves with mature believers who can warn us when we start to stray. Ask yourself, am I focusing on what is important to the Lord? Avoiding compromise? Making a conscious effort to adhere to Bible? biblical truth, demonstrating a pattern of godly transformation, let God's Holy Spirit empower you to make changes necessary to be more like Christ. I know personally I feel like sometimes I do 
focus so much on one thing and I'm trying really really hard to get something accomplished and I lose sight of what God may want for us what God may want for me for my life um, and I feel like I'm in the middle of that right now um, things are harder things are I feel like I struggle more um, when I see others that are like whoa it's a clear path for them and I'm here struggling and I'm trying to it's like a it's like I'm banging myself like the bit little birds that bang themselves in the in the in the glass window um, and I feel like I've this has been my miss I'm missing out on this ingredient of like that daily connection I still pray I still um, you know I still listen to to messages and and going to church is important too and but to but to carry it on a daily basis it's what I've been lacking so I pray I pray that I mean it's it just seems that life gets more complicated when you're running against the river you know um, and it may not be that you're going in the wrong path it may just not it may be just that you're not paint, putting God first I pray that you guys um, will get something out of this I know that um, the last few uh, um, devotionals that I've read are definitely have <laughs> been more for me um, I do need to get more involved more uh, make more time for for God make more time to be serious and see where God wants to lead me in my path like what path to take or how to take uh, a specific path um, there's many times where I feel like it's it, like I'm stuck I'm, I feel stuck and um, I, I need more prayer I need I need to make time to pray more ask more and listen like stop and listen to what he has what he wants to share what he wants for me um so i pray that you guys um can stay in tune as well and uh realize that when you start kind of the more you're away from god the more you're away from the scripture from from pretty much his his guideline um that's when things got start getting like a little bit even more uh, unclear on what direction to take what what steps to take um i know god that wants he wants the best for us i believe that that he wants the best for us and it's our job to put in the effort to make that relationship to strengthen that relationship with him and once that is developed one is that strength you know you have that relationship uh, a strong relationship things are a little bit more clear and i feel like throughout our lives we do go up and down we do we we have some highs and we have some lows um and it's so good to know that God is there no matter what. When when we're high, he's there to say, hey, welcome back. And then when we're low, he's there kind of, hey, come back, come back, come back, come back. So um, I do pray that you guys can stay, hang on, hang on to his rela that relationship. It's sometimes hard to, to or easy to forget, or not for easy to forget, but easy to um let other things kind of distract you from his path so i pray for that um that you guys just keep on going for that relationship and strengthening that relationship and know where god is taking you so have a great week and we will see you next time Bye bye